Hi everyone, Anka from Social Bee here, and I'm super excited to share with you guys that we have launched a new post editor experience. So in today's video, we're gonna walk you through how you can switch to the new post editor and what the features are. Let's get started with switching over to the new post editor. In order to do that from your Social Bee account, you will need to go into the main menu under edit profile. Once you're here, you'll scroll a little bit lower where you can find your settings. And in here, you'll see post editor experience, enable our new post editor for updated content creation experience. So let's toggle that on and see what the new post editor has to offer. When creating a new post, you'll be able to click on the create post button as well as the add post button on the navigation bar whenever you want to, and it will open up directly with the new post editor. So what's changed exactly? Well, our social profile selector has moved into the left side of your screen, giving you a more seamless experience and a little bit of a better view at what profiles you're selecting. That way, if you have multiple Facebook pages or Instagram accounts that have similar um, icons, you can now distinguish between them because you're also going to be able to see the name of each page. So let's go ahead and select a few and see what's going on with them. You'll see the selected ones are clearly visible now as well as um, shown up here at the top of your post editor. You'll also see that the post editor is currently still in beta. So um, this means that we're still working on making tiny improvements that will make it even better in the future. What else has changed? Well, we've moved some things around to make it seamless for you to use. So when you're creating your post, you'll have your text formatting options here. You'll have a tool to generate the hashtags. You'll have your hashtag collections that you can always access and add into your content, as well as your AI assistant to allow you to generate captions, images, or to customize your caption further for each profile, just like you did before. With the new post editor experience, you'll have the customize for each profile as a toggle instead of a button. And you'll see it at the top right corner of your content editor right here. You'll find your media files have moved to the right side of your text box, starting with a way for you to upload files from your computer. You can either click on it or drag and drop just like you did before. You'll then have your integrations with Giphy, Unsplash, and Canva so that you can work with the tools that you use to as well in order to maximize your content creation process. So let's start creating a post and I'll show you exactly what I mean. I'll add a caption that I already have pre-made, but you can always use the post editor to generate your own caption or type in your own as you would. I'm also going to include an image just like that. So now let's customize the post further for each one of our selected platforms and see what's changed there. I'll just toggle on customize for each profile and you'll be able to switch between the different profiles and have access to those platform specific features that each one of them has. So what are those platform specific features, you might ask? They're the same as they used to be. Nothing has changed here. So Instagram will allow you to choose between a feed post, a reel, um, a story, and a reel that also shows up on your feed. You'll still be able to add the location tag on your um, Instagram account. You'll still have access to your first comment option both on Facebook and Instagram, as well as other platforms where, where that feature is available. Um, and you'll also have the platform specific features that you might, might have had with the old experience. So essentially the new post editor is here to just help make your flow a little bit easier with a little bit of a more modern look. If you want to add variations to your content, you'll be able to clearly see the variation number here at the top right and add your own variations from the add variation button here below. This will essentially copy your existing variation so that you can make any changes necessary. You can move the variations and switch their order around by clicking on the arrow down or arrow up 
to move them from one another's place. And you can also delete variations if you don't want them anymore. Scrolling a little bit lower on the bottom of the page, this is where you'll select your category, which is where you want to include this content. If you want to include it in a category, if not, just select content without a category here. If you can't see all of your categories, you'll find them under more. This is where you'll see a list of all of your existing content categories in that workspace. You'll also be able to choose whether the post gets added to the top or bottom of your queue within that category by selecting the drop down here and choosing your preferred option. Then you'll have a few additional options for scheduling your post, either at a specific time, in which case you can add a posting time here and it will suggest the best time to post just like you did in the past editor and you can just add it there or remove that date, deselect that and select post now to share your content immediately. You can also opt to requeue this post by enabling it from here if you have it added into a category. You'll see the toggle turns green when it's enabled and gray when it's disabled to let you know that things are either requeuing or not. And then you also have the option to set your content to expire. When you toggle this on, you'll have two options here available, depending on whether your content is requeuing or not. So the first one is going to be expired after it's been published a number of times. This feature only becomes available when you requeue your content because otherwise your content automatically expires after one publication. So when you requeue it, you can add expire after three times maybe. Alternatively, you can set a specific date to set your content to expire. That way you don't end up with a Happy New Year post accidentally publishing mid-August or something. You'll see a preview of the post on the right hand side for every single selected platform and you can scroll through them from here. At the bottom of the post editor, you'll have your save post button and right next to it on the left, you'll have the toggle to save your post either as approved, which means it's ready to go out, or as a draft, which means someone or you still needs to review and approve the post before it goes out. When you use the new post editor, you'll also be able to provide feedback to the Social Bee team with any glitches you may find or any improvements that you can suggest. So be sure to do that if the pop-up appears on your end. And that's it. Hope you enjoy the new post editor experience and let us know if there are any questions or concerns by emailing us at success at socialbee.com.